Hello, and welcome to episode 34 of Let's Play Twilight Princess HD. I'm Jade Vortex, and here we are where the Zoras are. The Zoras Domain. Why are we here? Well, next stop is through this cave. Looks like it's thought out. We get to find out what's on the other side. Last time we were here, it was frozen over with ice. This area is very cold. It's Snow Peak, of course. Link. What brings you to a dangerous place like this? Ever since Sora's domain got covered in ice, this mountain's been much colder than usual, yeah? Not only that, but I heard a really weird story from the Zoras. Apparently, the beast that lives somewhere on this mountain has been seen frequently in Sora's domain. I was curious, so I came and waited, and as they'd said, a giant appeared. Yeah, it looked like this. Apparently, this thing's been stealing red fish from the village. I want to investigate further, but I can't even see the path through this blizzard, yeah? I'm sure you're here because you're curious about the mountain, but you'd best not go without a plan. Well, time to do some detective work. We have a new item in the form of this letter that she gave me. Hey, the beast of Snow Peak. Oh, the red fish is holding. That's a reek fish. Ah, so this beast has been showing itself because it's been catching reek fish. I didn't think anyone besides Prince Rallis was capable of catching this type of fish. So, Prince Rallis is able to catch this kind of fish. That's interesting. What do you know? I remembered something correctly for once. Is, is your name Link? My mother came to see me in a dream. She showed me your image. She spoke of a youth who would save our domain and steer my fate. One named Link. I must thank you for all you've done. If there's anything I can ever do for you, please tell me. Please. Hmm. The Beast Man of the Snowy Mountain, perhaps. But more important is this red fish he is holding. It must be a reek fish. That is a rare specimen found only in the Zora village. It feeds on a valuable type of coral, and without that bait, even our best fishers cannot catch one. Look closely, Link. My earring is made of this coral. I would like to give it to you. I received it from my mother. But it's fine. I no longer need it. As I look at you, I get a sense of what my mother wanted. What I should be doing now. I will return to my village. The reef fish can be found near the mother and child rocks in the barfall basin near my village. The fish are red, so I think you should be able to spot them. Alright, let's get out of here. No more playing around. We've got fish to catch. Now I caught it. 27 inches. 
Before I forget. Yeah. Now we can follow the scent. Boy, it reeks. Don't the Zoras care that there's a wolf going around? I guess not. Alright, probably should turn on my wolf senses. Apparently, you can't get around this area without doing so. I don't understand how that really works, but whatever. Video game logic. You have to follow a smell. Otherwise, you'll end up back where you started. One thing that I am hoping for in Breath of the Wild is for the icy mountain area to be more interesting than this one. Because this one doesn't have a whole lot going for it, at least not during this section. It's mostly just climbing up this mountain while following the reek fish smell. Looks like I was going the wrong way. There's a lot of dark spots that I could dig into, but they are rather pointless and useless for me to do any digging in. Aha! I caused an avalanche. Oh, Link, you're always causing some environmental damage or some kind of effect on the world around you. Up, middle, down, middle, down, up, middle, down, up, middle, down, up, middle. There we go, I somehow did it. Teachings of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and find me. That's two wolf links I now have to find as a human. At least one's in the graveyard, that's easy to find. I want a warp point before I go anywhere. Oh hey, let's dig in. Oh hey, we get to be a human again. I like how I could have just hookshot it up there. 
I will not leave any ice bat unslain. Especially since they won't leave me alone. I'm just trying to get through here, man. Soul. Alright, I don't need the fishing rod ever again, probably. Actually, we probably will find a use for it eventually. But for now, let's just speed up our climbing. Boy, do I hope that the hookshot or long shot is in Breath of the Wild. It would make climbing a little bit more convenient. If it works like it does in this game. Oh hey! Just what I wanted! A way to warp back and forth from here without losing progress. I just have to kill these guys. Then I can learn a new hidden skill. Ow. God, jeez, I didn't mean to kill two of them, I was just trying to kill one of them. Fuck you. I am killing just you. Oh, come on! Fuck you! Spin attack fucking sucks in this game. Ah, jeez! How did I kill the thing on the other fucking side of him? Without killing him! That does not make any goddamn sense! Die! All three of you! At the same time! Hmm, there's a yeti here. I think what I'm going to do though is completely ignore him and go find Wolf Link. Hello there, hero of time. <laughs> we meet again. Last, the skill I have to teach you have entered the realm of true secrecy. They are forgotten ways that do not leave our bloodline. Among the techniques I shall be teaching you are some that may even endanger you. Do you feel ready to learn these skills? I do. Very well. Before we begin, I must test you to ensure that you have mastered the last skill I taught you, the Helm Splitter. Now then, come at me. What an easy skill. You think I would not have mastered that? Excellent. It appears you are certainly capable of performing my lost art. Very well, my fifth hidden skill is the mortal draw. Let it be hewn into your mind. The ways of the sword are known to many creatures, and some have strengthened their guards against shield attacks and back slices. Should he encounter such a foe, the mortal draw that I am about to teach you is the most effective. You must sheath your sword and cast aside the most basic of sword skills, the ZL target. You must wait until your foe is upon you, then before then we can see through your ruse. You must quickly draw your blade with A. There is no defense for this. The mortal draw deals death. Very well. Now try it. That was a pointed strike, but do not forget that this technique leaves your life at risk. The fifth hidden skill, the mortal draw, has been passed on.
there are still two hidden skills for you to learn. Do not neglect your daily sword training between now and the time you come to learn the next. May we meet again. Alright, I wonder if we can finally learn the other one. Let me go check. <laughs>